different vlog today because I started vlogging this past week on Monday and then I put my camera in my lunch box or like my lunch bag on Tuesday and I forgot my lunch bag at work um, and I work at a different office on Wednesday and Thursday and so then I couldn't get it until Friday and I could not complete the vlog the vlog so Today I thought that we would do something fun, something different, and we're gonna do a Sunday reset with me. I have a lot of things to do today. Um, one being that my house is disgusting because I keep my house pretty picked up during the week, but then on Saturday, I, I it just becomes a mess again, like Friday night and Saturday. So we have to do dishes, we have to do laundry, I wanna wash my sheets, I have a Pilates class at three. I'm also going to tone my hair. I showing up very red yeah so i dyed my hair brown like back to my natural color a couple of weeks ago and it is fading and i cannot get an appointment with my hairstylist until like the middle of june and it's kind of turning red because i have so much highlights underneath from being blonde for so many years so i ordered a toner from amazon that's supposed to get here today so i've never done that before hopefully it goes well but we're gonna tone my hair today i also need to go grocery shopping and yeah, so I thought we would just do a little Sunday reset with me, how I prepare for the week ahead. And that's what today's vlog is going to be. I'm excited because I never do anything different on YouTube and I kind of want to because it's hard to film my weeks every week. I feel like I get like, oh, I just don't want to pick up the camera because I'm doing the same thing. But anyway, first step on the reset is the kitchen. The kitchen is always the first step. So my husband did some of the dishes but he just ran out to play golf with his boss please ignore we desperately need new pans that's that's really bad but i just have a few more dishes to finish and then we're gonna throw in some laundry i need to pick up this area over here i like collect jackets like it's my hobby so i need to do that empty my bags just clean up do the floor spend some time with the dogs <laughs> um so it's currently 12.04 we just finished like a brunch that i showed you guys we had some breakfast tacos breakfast burritos if you will for breakfast and how we're gonna get to cleaning oh and i'm watching queen charlotte a bridgerton story i'm on episode two and i really like it so far i love bridgerton it's it's really good highly recommend and i feel like it's the first time in a while that something like new has been on netflix that i really like wanted to see so yeah i found back. that was siri welcome back to the vlog i'm so happy you guys are here and let's have a good sunday <laughs> This is the worst part. Like having this type of stove is really nice because we get a lot of hurricanes through here. So if we lose power, then we still have gas. But I hate cleaning this and it gets so dirty and it really bothers me. Also, just like an ongoing joke in our household is the fact that th this sign has been up. This May Our, Mary, May Our Days Be Merry and Bright sign has been up since Christmas of 2021. <laughs> and I just can't get myself to change it because first of all, I don't know what to put there. I need just something else. Um, I'm not into the sign anymore, but home decor hasn't really been the first thing on my mind or a priority to me. So yeah, I just think it's kind of funny. Anyway, I just wanted also to let you guys know a little hack that you probably already know, but you can use baking soda in your um, garbage disposal if it gets kind of stinky because mine does, I think everybody's does, because it disposes food. So um, you can use a little baking soda and then white vinegar in there to kind of help the smell go away. And then I just let it sit for like 15 minutes and wash it out. The counters are all clean, dishes are put away. I got these um, hydrangeas, Seth got them for me. Well, okay, that's a lie. Seth didn't get them for me. He had a sports banquet and they had a bunch left over. So he brought them home for me. And I have heard that hydrangeas don't soak up water from the bottom. They soak it up from the top. So I guess I'm just going to let them soak. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. 
it's laundry time now. I just have a load of towels going in because we um, gave the boys a bath yesterday. So we used a lot of towels and then I'm gonna go outside and play with them because they are desperate for me to throw the ball or do something with them. Okay, you got your ball? Okay. Guys, we are finally getting our yard redone with the turf. Um, I think it's supposed to be in the next couple of weeks because they were kind of booked up, but I'm so excited because our yard looks so bad. Ay, ay, ay. My dogs cannot occupy themselves. They um, need me to occupy them. Your feet! What happened? Oh my god. Kitchen is cleaned, floors are vacuumed, mopped, next load of laundry is in. Now it's time to tackle this bathroom. This is honestly embarrassing, but it is what it is. Like I said, <laughs> life gets in the way of keeping things like clean all the time. Um, so I'm just gonna do a quick little pickup, clean the toilet, wipe down the counters, the shower needs to clean, whatever. I do my um, Pilates class is at three. So I have like 45 minutes to get everything done before I need to leave. And I don't think this is gonna take me 45 minutes, but yeah. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys that I am, you know, looking for a little Sunday inspo. So this is a, typically a podcast. I think I should listen to it as a podcast because I don't want to waste my phone battery watching it because I'm, I don't really need to watch it, but um, Take Charge of Your Life to Create Your Future by A Better You Podcast. I've never listened to it before, um, but I just, I love a little inspo on a Sunday to like get the day, I mean, get the week started. Here it is, 37 minutes. We're gonna listen to that while I clean. Okay, bathroom is complete. I'm like slightly hungry. I'm not super hungry, I ate breakfast like not that long ago, but it's 2.17 and I'm gonna go to um, a Pilates class at three, like I said. So I feel like I need a little sustenance. Or maybe I just need water, honestly. Um, I don't know. Over pasta from yesterday, went to Four Beaches, um, which is in downtown Tampa and leftovers. I love leftovers, so I guess I'm just gonna heat up some leftovers, paint that really quick, and fold this set of laundry um, before I leave. Okay, this is the fit for Pilates. This set is from Set Active, and I've had it for, oh, probably like a year now. It's in the color Espresso. Um, and they're Sculpt Flex, I believe. It's very cute. This sports bra is not my favorite. I don't think it's like super flattering on somebody who doesn't have like a chest, but <laughs> it's okay. Um, I really like these leggings or sport or shorts. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. My only complaint would be that like if you've eaten, they feel like tight and I just ate. So I'm feeling like a little bit eh. It's okay, I still like them, and then I'm just gonna wear this black Abercrombie tee over top because I am gonna go to the grocery store afterwards. Almost forgot to put on deodorant. That would have been bad. Not that I sweat that much during Pilates, but you know, it's just, deodorant is a must. I tried to use natural deodorants for years, and you know what, I'm over that era. Like, give me aluminum. I really don't think that it's as bad for you as, um, society or like the wellness brands try to convince you that it is and i ate my apple watch because if you worked out and you didn't have your apple watch on i just like live by the philosophy that you didn't actually work out so not, that's not true but come on come on camp i gotta close the door come on all right let's go get my car to start get my water let's go if you just the same person Monday. Okay. I 
morning, I've been going through Taylor Swift. I was about to sound like I had a list, but I was about to say Taylor Swift. Um, Taylor Swift withdraws since I saw her in concert. You guys, I no lie. I'm not kidding. I watch the concert on TikTok Live every weekend night um, at least once. So like either Friday night or Saturday night, I'm watching because I want to see what the surprise songs are and all this stuff. Like I'm an addict. I'm a Taylor Swift addict. But anyway, <laughs> I finished Pilates. It was decent. You know, I'm having a hard time deciding if I want to keep this membership or not. I'm also having a hard time having getting my camera to stay because I'm going over these bumps so I apologize but so I go to Club Pilates and I used to go to one that was further away from my house but closer to my old job and I felt like those classes were a little bit harder I used to take this class called suspend I believe and it was with TRX bands and it was the hardest like the hardest ones that I could do because they have like a one and then they have a 1.5 level and then they have a 2.5 level but you have to be pre-approved by the instructor to do a 2.5 which I'm sure I could be I definitely could do it but um I haven't gotten pre-approved by an instructor and there's no point in doing it like getting pre-approved by an instructor because all those classes are at times that I couldn't take them so anyway, I switched my membership when I changed jobs to one that is closer to my new job and closer to home. And so now I've just been doing 1.5 classes and they're typically like a reformer flow. And I don't want to complain because like I like an easy workout, but I feel like I'm not really challenged in it. They don't have any of those sculpt, not sculpt, um, the word that I just said before, um, like suspend if they don't have any of those suspend classes at times that I would take them because I find myself not wanting to take a Pilates class after work and just wanting to go home so I end up taking the Pilates classes on the weekend as like a switching it up type of thing which is fine but I'm just, it's really expensive if I'm being completely honest it's hundred and nine dollars a month for four classes which is kind of outrageous if you think about it and my membership at my like at the other studio was $90 for four classes. So it was a little bit better, but still like really expensive. But at this other one, it's 109 and I'm like, is it worth it? I don't know. Call my number, call my name. I'm back home. I'll do a little grocery haul in a second, but I have to try these chips. I love chips and salsa. That's like my favorite snack in the world. Um, and I love like that camera's upset with me. He wants me to come outside and throw the ball at him, so please excuse that noise. Um, I need to unload the groceries and put them away, but he thinks that the minute I get home, that I'm supposed to go outside and play with him. But anyway, I love like crappy salsa. Um, so this to me is liquid gold. Of course I'm in a little bowl. I have a little snack. Um, I think I told you guys, but for dinner I'm gonna make a little curry bowl. I just like love chips and these chips have like a hint of lime. I thought that sounded so good. Oh my god. It's the little things in life. Mm. That was so good. I've had a little guacamole. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the grocery haul. Some rice cauliflower. Um, I actually put these in the dog's dinner at night. White onion, red onion, carrots that I freeze and give to the dogs as like bones. Two cucumbers, some tofu, this creamer, Chobani coffee creamer, the plant-based one is really good. So I just replenished on that. I got some sweet peas for the recipe I'm making for dinner tonight, like the curry. And then I just needed to refresh on like some condiments like yellow mustard, ketchup, some taco seasoning mix. Um, I got some vegan sour cream for tacos this week green pepper, blueberries. This is the noodles that I'm gonna use in 
like the noodle curry thing I'm making tonight. So hopefully that goes well. Two things of corn, orange juice for Seth, um, some lemons, limes, a few bananas to freeze, avocados, a nice fresh loaf of bread. This is my absolute favorite hummus. So I got some of that, Impossible Burger, a nice big thing of berries. You, got, you guys saw the chips and then for tonight's dinner, coconut milk, soy sauce, and some red curry paste. I also got some little tacos and some big taco shells. We go through a lot of taco shells. And then some raspberries. And then I actually just got a few things for the bathroom. One, I've had my same toothbrush for the last probably almost four, three years. And it dies like every couple of days and have to charge it. So I desperately needed a new one. I got some shampoo and some mouthwash. And oh, I forgot to show you guys these. I got Kind Bars. These are the bars that we I use to like snack on um, throughout the day. They're so good, but very expensive. <laughs> this is what I ordered on Amazon to help get like the red out of my hair or just like give it a nice, I don't know. I really wanted to tone it. I don't know if this is gonna do anything. I don't know if I'm about to mess up my hair. It had good reviews on Amazon. And yeah, so I'm gonna like shower. I'm gonna do the shower. I need to shave my legs, I need to wash my hair, like all of that stuff. And I'm pretty sure, where are the directions? Okay. Hmm. There's no directions. Okay, I need to look up the directions because I don't know how to use this. Okay. This is what it says to do. You apply to dry your damp hair, let it sit for five to 10 minutes, and then rinse it out. I need to wash my hair though. Well, I have to wash my hair. Like I have to shower. So I'm thinking I'm gonna shower, wash my hair, and then let it dry a little bit and then do this afterwards. Let's just shower right now. I'm in desperate need of a shower. We both know I'm too 